My wife did modelling for Rose Morris um, and they owned Marshall, the amplifier company. And she bought me a Yashica 24 camera. And I went along to a pub and sat down cross-legged on the floor and a guy came on, got his guitar out and sang a song called Deborah. And his name was Mark Bolan and that was it. I um, started selling my photos to Melody Maker and that, and it just changed my life. And if there's an ambitious band, film them. Because <laughs> I do the local band called the Howling Owls, and they're absolutely incredible. Being in the pit is just the most incredible thing when, you know, someone like um, Santana comes on. You can't believe the atmosphere you get when you're photographing them and they're a few foot away, you know, it's just an amazing experience. I saw Santana and he was the one who I was really struck with. And I was filming him or photographing him, and the manager said, could you get on the stage and do the photos from the back? And I sent them over to America, and his wife sent me a letter back, said, we'll be in Manchester in a few weeks' time, will you pop up? And I went up and went into the dressing room and sent on. I said, hi, man. He said, I'm just having lunch. He said, come along, you know, and I went along and I had lunch with Santana when I was about 25, I think. The incredible thing is that I've been photographing him every year since, and they use the pictures on their album, Shango. I went to Wembley Football Stadium, and Santana came on and done their set, and I photographed all that. And then Bob Dylan came on, and I went back and got on the stage and it was when his live set came on and he said, I want to introduce you to the band, Chrissy Hines, Van Morrison, Keith Richards, Santana, Eric Clapton, Mick Taylor. The wonderful thing about that shot is Bob Dylan's laughing and he never laughs. I've never seen him laugh except that time. I was doing mobile DJing and my son used to come out with me and we were down in a bar called the Crazy Coyote and there's a chap just started putting raves on. My son was working in a music shop and he'd heard this rave music and he bought a lot of records and he was just, you know, sort of warming up. And this chap said, you're down my club Friday night. And the son did the first set and I was taking photos of him. I thought this would be really good to film. So you've got to go in and you've got to boogie with whatever tune. You've got to know, know the moves for the hardcore and then the R&B and, and you know, you've got to have all these different movements. 
But I've worked with Judge Jules, Carl Cox, Pete Tong, all of the house DJs, then all the drum and bass DJs. filmed Prodigy from the back of the arena, you know, trying to hold it still. But it's probably the best video stuff I've got. It was amazing and now it's quite amazing that we can look back and see Prodigy 25 years ago and they're still quite amazing. It was going into the crowds and I used to dance with them, and they, they all said, what you on, man? I said, nothing, you know, I don't believe it, you know. They don't believe you can enjoy yourself without the drugs. I take 13 tablets a day to keep me alive, so they're worth taking if you're old. After heart operations, you feel a bit weird and you want peace and that. And I came down here, always on my own, to relax and take photographs. When you're in the clubs, you're really uptight and everything. Your blood pressure's probably through the ceiling, just with the sound and the atmosphere. So you come along here, and it's just the contrast that you come down and relax. I wonder if it's the plants and all the different things coming up to life and you think, oh, you know, there's new life all the time. I'm getting closer to the door out and all these things are coming in. I don't want to get old and give up and sit and watch telly for the rest of my life, which I've got to be honest, when people are my age, they seem to do. But photography, you leave something behind that people can look at. And it's making history. Every photo you take becomes history. And, you know, I didn't believe when I took the pictures of Mark Bolan that he would become one of the top legends in the music world. And I took the pictures of him when he first started. So it's leaving something behind and occupying your mind with something that's very fulfilling.